Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at Richie Blackmore's solo in Highway Star. So this one is, uh, you know, pretty challenging. It's got some really cool uh, repetitive licks and a lot of harmonized lines. So what I'm going to be doing is really kind of teaching you the main um, guitar line. And if you want to learn how to harmonize it, like he does in certain sections, he's usually harmonizing it just up a third. So you can, I have a, a video that I'll link to um, that shows you how to do that. Whenever you hear those harmony sections, if you really, if you have a second guitar player that can play that extra harmony part. But I'm gonna be showing you the main part each time, um, and then some of the higher harmonies um, you can add on your own. So let's take a look here. We're gonna start with this first phrase. All right, so that's on the D string here, 12, then 10 on the G, and then the bend at the 13th on the B. Play this. Then again, and then you're gonna shorten that bend and go into the tenth fret on the G string there. So this. All right, next phrase. So that's slide into the tenth fret on the G, roll over to the ten on the B, and the ten on the high E. I'm sorry, not the 10 on the high E. So we have roll to the 10 on the B, into the bend there on the 12th fret on the high E string. And then pick 12, 10, 13 on the B, 10 on the G, to 12 down the D. Then roll that third finger over to the 12 on the G string, down to 10 on the G. Fall together. Now you repeat that exact same phrase again. All right, and now we're down to this next phrase. All right, so that's some bends at the eighth fret on the B. And then bends, then eight, seven, five. So to, to roll over to the five on the G, to the seven on the D, roll back to the seven on the G, back to the five the 7 on the D twice. Next phrase. All right, so that's a pretty simple little pentatonic bass thing. We're going to hammer on 5 to 7 on the D. And then we start the kind of repet repetitive lick. We're going to play 5 on the G, 7, 5 on the D. So you do that twice. And then just do a quick 5 to 7 on the D. 5 on the G, 7. And then start that uh, repetitive 3 note lick again. So basically it starts with that hammer on. Does the 3 note lick twice. Kind of breaks that up by just going 5, 7 real quick. And then start the 3 note lick again. So all together. Now kind of halfway through that last lick, you're gonna jump up to a, you're gonna hear a uh, whole set bends there at the eighth fret on the beat. He starts picking up the pace with it. And by the way, when he's switching over to that note, you're gonna hear an open D string when he's, kind of caused by when he lifts his finger off that D string and comes up here to grab the B string, you're gonna hear a little um, open string in there, uh, the open D. So then we have this phrase. All right, so since it's getting fun now, we're gonna do a bend at the eighth fret of the high E, and then, 
Then you pick eight, five, and then six on the B, seven on the G. Repeat that. All right, the second arpeggio is based around. Same bend of the eight, and then play eight, six, then eight on the B, seven on the G. Do that twice as well. All right, now we're up to the 10th fret here on the high E string. We're gonna do a bend there. Then you're gonna pick that note, 10, eight, roll over to the eight on the B, and then nine on the G. Go ahead this. And do that twice. So all together. So now we're going to do these little unison bends as I, uh, I'm going up. Now I'm going to do them two different ways. We, we're going back to this same kind of arpeggio thing that we just did. Um, now he ends both ones with the exact same kind of um, harmonized unison bends. So I'm going to show you the lower one first and then the second time through I play the higher unison bend harmony um, just you know before we go into that rapid picking part. So the lower one here that I do the first time through is that you're going to hold the tenth fret on the B and then the 12th on the G. Pick those together and bend that 12 up until it matches the pitch of that 10th fret. Then up to 11, 12, and 13. Then we start back over these arpeggios, which is a slight difference. So a couple of those times we did two bends instead of one. Now if you know that way the song sounds, which you should, you should probably know, you can kind of hum this to yourself, you'll know when those bends happen. Right here, two of them there, and right here. Everything else was the same. Now we're going to end it with the higher harmony uh, unison bend, which is 12th fret on the high E, 15th on the B. And you're going to bend the 15 once again after you hit both of them to sound like the 12. And you're going to do the same thing, go up one fret at a time, all the way up to the 15th fret. And that uh, gets us to the uh, fast picking part, which sounds like this. All right, so that's the first half of it. So what is this lick that's going on here? It goes by really quick. Well, what you're gonna be doing is straight alternate picking. You're gonna play five, six, eight, and then hit eight again. So you hit the eight twice. The last note in the group of three, you hit it twice. So it goes down, up, down, up. So you repeat that. So you get it till you can get it nice and synchronized. And then you just take it up the scale here. You can now do the same lick eight times here on six, eight, ten. And then up to eight, ten, twelve. All right, now the little descending thing, we're gonna come up here. You hit 17th fret twice, followed by the open string, open high E twice. And then we start this little repetitive descending lick. We're gonna go 15, 14, then open string twice. So you're gonna get used to that here. So you're just gonna go down a fret each time doing that same lick. So you're gonna stop there at the nine, eight. So we have all together.
All right, now you start back over with the same thing. Now what changes is this descending lick. We start the same way. Down to the 9-8 one again. And then jump back up to the 12-11. And then continue going down from there. We'll go all the way down to the 3-2 two open strings there and now we're going to do this coming back up so we have basically just play that lick from up here all right from here we're going to now change it up just a little bit and you're going to hit two twice then open string twice then the same thing here at the third fret Play this. And then we're going to start that familiar lick again. Four, three, two open strings, and up a fret. And then once again to this, uh, this lick we just did, hit six twice, open string twice, and seven twice. So from this second fret here. All right, so now we go into these kind of a little bluesy licks that ends the solo. It sounds like this. All right, so that's a bend at the eighth fret on the B string. Then they play the fifth fret on the high E, and then eight, seven, five on the B. Same thing on the G. Then to seven on the G string, then five, then seven twice on the D. And then back, the bend there, fifth fret on the high E again, this time just eight five on the D string, then eight seven five on the G. To seven on the D, roll over that seven again on the then down to the 5 on the G, and then we're just going to extend it a little bit, 7, 5, 7 on the D, over to the 5th string on the 5th uh, fret there on the G string, and he's going to do a little whammy bar here, this little thing at the very last note. Alright, and that is about it. It's a great solo, classic solo, so anybody that's a Deep Purple fan should know it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.